Hello all, Bloom and Cheesy here. I'm gonna go right off the bat and show these Dooney and Burks that just came out with the logos of Disneyland on them. Donald Duck also looks pretty cool, cute. But this is Pantastic Tuesday for this wonderful morning. Um, hopefully everyone do, does like, comment, and subscribe. I loved this pin that just came out for D23 Haunted Mansion Edition. Um, flipping pin, Twilight Zone Tower of Terror Limited Edition, $21.99. Um, this is Pintastic Tuesday. It's going to be a little bit longer. I'm going to try to zoom through these, but it looks like it's about 13 minutes worth, so it adds up. This is an art print that is really cool looking, and it is pricey. Uh, doesn't show the price. Twenty nine ninety nine, so the same price as a pen. You get an art print. Now I don't know if it comes with the frame this way, but still, probably not. Um, I would consider that art print. That looks pretty cool. Nothing special though, in my opinion. A bunch of new pins for Stitch Day came out, which is six twenty six. Here is the pins. Very, very cool looking. What I really do like is also the box they come in. Here it is, right here. Come on. There it is. Very cool box. Uh, $74.99 for those three pins. They're a little pricey, but... For some people, collectors, that might be worth the price. It's a limited edition this time of 1700 So, it's a three-piece set. And then the other three stitch pins have a PVC in, 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 uh, parts in the pin. I didn't mean to do that that are scented this one is scented like lemon which is really cool it's the ice cream uh, 626 pin uh, i'm gonna show and they're all gonna be 17.99 for, the, for each of these three i'm considering maybe getting all three we'll see but it is a limited release short time it does have a PC, PVC ice cream, uh, and it's lemon scented. The PVC part is the only thing that is scented, by the way, in these three pins. So you would have to smell it using the PVC insert area. I believe they may put it on after they make the pin. Um, somehow glue it in, probably. Make it stay. Uh, the next pin, which it looks to be a big, huge chocolate cake, or a cake, is chocolate scented, by the way. It is Stitch taking out his bread from the oven. I love the Stitch 626 uh, pin outsert that's on all of these also, by the way. PVC cake, chocolate scented. Raised 66 day loco. I love that part. E enamel. Yeah. Laser engraved. These look like pretty high quality pins, in my opinion. Uh, and then this last one, which is right here, I, that it shows the uh, pin back for all three of them. I love the pin back, by the way, too. Don't tell anyone. Um, this one is the only one that has the his uh, stitches pal. Uh, but anyway, this one is scented like chocolate. Not chocolate, no. Coffee. This is a coffee scented pen. And, and the coffee scent will be his PVC insert, which is the coffee mug. 
the PVC insert for the cake, chocolate cake, would be the chocolate cake itself. And lastly, the first one has a PVC insert of the ice cream that he's holding. And that PVC insert is scented like lemon. So you will only have one flavor for the ice cream, even though it shows three flavors. Or at least two flavors. Unknown on that one. It shows a red and a yellow, but they're all scented like lemon. Okay. Then these new set of um, collaboration with uh, Columbia Outdoor Wear came out, and I like some of this set. It's interesting looking hat. I would definitely get it if I knew it was going to be a hot day, really. And twenty nine ninety nine. It's halfway decent priced for what Disney prices. It's a baseball cap for adults by Columbia, Mickey and Co. Uh, Mickey and Co. is a new collaboration they're using with Columbia, by the way. Oh, it's going to have that logo of Mickey and Co. on it. Here's another thing that they came out with. Oop, boop, get down there. It is a uh, fanny pack or a side pack, as they call it now, guys. I do like the look of it. Hip pack, sorry, by Columbia, thirty nine ninety nine. Then I will dive into this new. Um, there's going to be a lot of new Winnie the Pooh stuff that just came out, and this is one of them. It is a honey cookie jar. I would make something, some kind of cookie that has honey in it, and just have it so I have it there. It's thirty four ninety nine for the cookie jar that is a honey pot. It does look cute, and I will definitely probably think about getting, if I want to theme part of a kitchen area to Winnie the Pooh. I'll, I'll consider. <laughs> and then this new Winnie the Pooh shirt came out. I like the look of it, really, and I really do want this shirt and or a new newer sweatshirt that is down below um the this one is 59.99 it is a button up t-shirt silk then uh, another columbia item popped up which is their new or not new but their hat sequence that they have and it has the mickey and co with some of the characters on the front uh, it's all these are going to be pre-order. It's going to be forty nine ninety nine, and by the way, people are talking on this one. They're going to have ice pack inserts areas for on the left and right hand side, so that will be different and new. Uh, this is a new shirt that Columbia put out. It is SPF uh, SPF shirt itself it has columbia uh, pfg on the one side and then uh, mickey and co on the other with mickey in the front holding his nice little pamphlet of a map and then it, it was 84.99 i think it looked like if i remember correctly that shirt i did not like that much it is not that much of a pattern it's okay you know um it's when the poo Long sleeve Oxford shirt. No, thank you. I did not like that one. Uh, okay, this is what I was looking at. But here's the problem. By the way the girl looks like on it, I think it's a low-rising shirt. Which worries me a lot. Because it's not made for my kind of stature. Um, I'm thinking of just... Doing the uh, shirt, shirt, not the the uh, the silk shirt, not the sweatshirt. The more I think about it, yeah, then it is for seventy four instead. Okay, so let's fly into the next item that I click on. I don't remember what that was. 
Oh, yes, I do remember since I've been seeing it. It is that light. Winnie the Pooh lamp. It glows. Uh, so let's look at it. Really good. Right there. That's the back end. It looks cute. I could use it. I could have it. I do have a look small collection of Winnie the Pooh stuff. Here comes the new shirt for Mickey and Co. of Columbia. It looks pretty cool, but what I like the most about it, the back end. If you've seen that, it has a breeze, a leaf mint. That's $112, so it will be cooler when you wear it because it has a little thing in the back that allows air to get through. That's what that is data for. Okay, so let's go to the next item. After this, I had a little bit of problem. Because I could not, by any means, get past that area. So just hold on a few seconds. I'm going to skip forward into the next item. Welcome back. This is when I finally got it back up and going. This made my video a lot shorter. I did not notice this. So, there won't be no so-called 13 minutes. A lot shorter. These shirts only are for people that have Disney+. Plus. You have to use your Disney Plus email to buy these. Just make sure that you use it with Disney+. Plus. I believe there is a button on Disney+. Plus for at the new um at the new Aculite TV show area if you click into it it should have a merchandise logo you click on that and make sure that it goes to your email then you go to shop disney and look at these so these shirts are looking pretty cool if you're liking any of those the patterns maybe look at them a little bit more in shop disney but make sure you also know that you have to have a disney plus email that you can still use and it is four shirts one of them is long sleeve and it is all of them are themed to aculite which is the new show goodbye y'all